Hello and welcome to Everyday Incredible. I'm Carrie Kitchen and I'm here to help you find your balance, find your purpose, and learn to make Everyday Incredible. Before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. We don't want you to miss any upcoming content from us. So far we've talked about how you can start your day to be very spiritually focused, very kingdom focused, while still functioning in the world around you in your day-to-day -day routine. Then we talked about how we can go through each day while using those breath prayers to stay focused and keep that fear at bay. And then next we talk about our evening routine and what we can do there. So at the end of the day, when things are winding down, that makes a great time for you to sit down and make a to-do list. So if you've been in the habit of making to-do lists, you know how powerful that can be. To be able to write out your list and make a plan for the next day. When you know exactly what needs to happen, you can look at that list and you can organize by priority what things you're going to plan for the next day. Remember that you plan the big tasks first, as we've talked before about eating that frog and make sure you are taking care of the one thing that will be the worst in your day because once you get that done, nothing else is going to be as bad as that. So once you get the big things out of the way, you can fill in with some of the littler tasks that are waiting for you. So you start your day with sword sharpening and with your time in, in communication with your Heavenly Father. Then you write out your goals and your affirmations. You say breath prayers throughout your day. And then in the evening, you do your to-do list and you say your prayers of thanks. You say your prayers to thank God for the things that he's provided for you. And just remind yourself what he has done for you and thank him and praise his name for that. There's a lot of power in that. Pray those blessings over your home as your family is going to bed and as your day is winding up. Because there is so much power in that kind of prayer. There's so much power in your prayer over your household. And that sets the tone for the next day as well. I invite you to come join us at our Everyday Incredible Ladies Facebook group, Finding Christ-Centered Life Balance. Maybe share your favorite prayers with us that you wrap up the day with and how that impacts your family. You can also check out our monthly membership group, Digging Deeper, and you can find that at diggingdeeper.everydayincredible.net. Remember that there are opportunities every day, so make every day.